Now that we've seen how basic soft credits work, let's take a look at how to create a partial soft credit using NPSP. When our organization receives a donation, we may want to give credit to someone who did not actually make the gift, but has somehow influenced it. Soft credits create the full amount of the donation, whereas partial soft credits allow the amount to be less than the total amount of the donation. Here we have a donation opportunity from Rogers Pete for $200. This organization has collected two donations on our behalf and sent one check for the full amount. We'd like to soft credit the original donors, Juan and Lisa. To assign the partial soft credits, find the partial soft credits related list and select manage soft credits. Here we see the total amount of the donation, an amount that may have already been soft credited and the amount left unaccounted for. A little to the right, we can indicate whether the partial soft credits will be entered as dollar amounts or percentages of the total donation. You'll also note the optional allow soft credit amount more than total amount. In this case, we're not selecting it and instead entering dollar amounts for Juan and Lisa which add up to the total gift. Juan's portion of the donation was $150, so let's assign that partial soft credit by selecting add another soft credit. We'll search for Juan and assign an appropriate soft credit role, such as the default role named soft credit, or others which our system administrator previously configured in NPSP settings. Make sure the partial radio button is selected and enter 150 for the amount. Select add another soft credit to repeat these steps for Lisa Shaw's portion of the donation and click save. Looking at the full opportunity record, we now see two partial soft credit records, NPSP also automatically created new contact roles for each contact. Congratulations! We now understand how to give partial soft credits to contacts who aren't the primary donor. Check out the NPSP documentation for more details on partial soft credits and best practices, as well as the video on how to assign full soft credits. Thanks for watching!